Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Commercial something you say, ooh yeah. Dun dun ooh yeah. Hold on, let me get this right here. Ooh yeah. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Do I if I do I got her in there right, Legion. Legion, do I got her in there right for your in for you can see it, honey. Ooh yeah. Let's get into it, okay? This side here look like it need to go up just a little. Okay, let's do it like that right there. I'm gonna push it all the way up there for the food right up there. Let's do it like that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run on and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Not that you're part of it, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment. Come in like a share and don't for the team. Come in like a share and don't for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't get to come like a share. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and pray over this, honey, so we can get into the good news. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here because, baby, we finna smash. You hear me? So let's see if you guys refresh. Um, he is, you guys, Big Ben has Diet Coke in him today. But you guys, today for the food, baby. Over here. Right here, right here, right here. We got some cheesy, easy, 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 cheesy mac and cheese over here, huh? Their shells. Right here in the middle, we got some chillins. Chillins, chillins, chillins. I told y'all we're gonna have some chillins. I'm sorry, you ain't got no chillins yet, but we got chillins. Over here, y'all, we have got us a hunk of meatloaf. That's what that is right there. And some potato salad. We have some cornbread over there, but I decided I didn't want it at the end. We got some jalapeno peppers. Let's get to eat. Let's get to eat. I'm going for this mac and cheese, honey, huh? This is what I want. Yes, it's got sugar in it, so ain't doing your ass. Some of y'all thinking about it already, so I can go ahead and tell you. Yes, it has sugar in it. It do. And it's cheesy, easy, 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 uh-huh. It is. It's going to fall. I'm trying to get you a good bite, but it's going to fall. Let me see. There you go. Look at it, y'all. Look at the shells. Oh, glory. Mm, 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 mm. A tail salad. Mm -hmm. A good old southern tail salad. Mm -hmm. I'm buy that too. There you go. Get you a bite of the tail salad. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come through me, though. Meatloaf, come through. Mm -hmm. Come through, meatloaf. Look at y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, glory. Come through, meatloaf. Talk to me, meatloaf. What you say? Eat you. I got you. Meatloaf, I heard you. I heard you cry. Y'all, I've got to tell y'all, I had my little socks off. And if you want your bottle, mm -mm 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 -mm. look where the top of the screen is blue, hit that link. You can get you some little socks off. And your lips burnt. Okay, back to eating. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I need one more bite of this. This macaroni is so good. Mmm. Mmm. 
너무 음. 맛있어. You already know. Mm -hmm. Get some hot sauce. Get us some hot sauce, honey. For the chicken. Mm. Yes, sir. Oh, y'all want to have to go back. Hold on, put some extra hot sauce on here because Lottie Balls and Deborah Lee, they like their first bite to be hot saucy with the extra hot sauce. Here you go, Lottie Balls. Oh, glory, Jesus. Oh, yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the chili. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you. I told you. I warned you. Mm -hmm. We is eating chicken all chicken season. Mm -hmm. We eating chicken. Mm -hmm. We can get up for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We are. We can get up for Thanksgiving, honey. And Thanksgiving includes chillings. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. 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 Don't mind me, honey. Don't mind me. But I do need to ask you, how you doing today? Mm-hmm. How you doing? Mm. Y'all, we had a conversation today. I was on the phone with my cousins, three of my cousins, my nephew, my sister. Mm. Google do, I've been telling y'all about that. Just family, talking about generational hurt. Mm generational things and how the mistakes that how mm, <laughs> is good y'all is good how the mistakes of the generation ahead of us oh you ain't getting that on there y'all the mistakes that they made have put certain um mm, inflections or deflections on how we deal with or how we perceive what love is or what a relationship is supposed to be about. Mm -hmm. And sometimes how we parent, you know, everybody is somewhat of a product, no matter what you say and how you say it. Everybody on this earth, mm, 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 mm. It's somewhat of, a, somewhat of a product of your environment, how you were raised, the conditions you were raised in, things of that nature. Mm. Mm -hmm. But, mm -mm -mm -mm. my sister explained something to one of my children, said something, and I said, you know what? That's going to be my topic right there for the Legion today. Because that right there needs to be heard. That's our word. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now keep in mind, mm. 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 Baby, this is good. So keep in mind now, y'all. Hey, everybody, I ain't gonna say the same opinion that I, that, that I have. I get that. I get that. But what I'm going to tell you is what I know to be true from my heart. And that is, in all your relationships in life, whether it be a marriage, whether it be a friendship, even with your parents, your family, have you going to say it? There is a, there is a, there's something that is innate about all of those relationships. Mm. Then in order for you to truly be happy, you have to understand. And that is, never let, mm, never let a person have the option 
for you to be an option. Oh, did you get that? Did you pick that up? I put it down. Did you pick that up? Mm-hmm. Don't never let a person have the option to make you an option. Mm-mm. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. God gave you a divine right to take up space on this earth. He did. Mm. Mm -hmm. And if you let a person have the option to make you the option, guess what? You don't get them the option. Yay! But you not to be an option. You feel what I'm saying? Don't never let a person mm, that means of it. Swing. Don't never let a person, no matter whom they are in life, Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't give them the option that you be an option. Because God gave you the divine right to take up a space. You can't do that. You can't be in a relationship and let somebody else mm, control you and control how you think and control what you do. And now, if it's your parent and you're a child, you ain't got no choice until you can get out that thing. You know what I mean? But every person on earth. Is do a certain amount of respect because God gave them a divine right to take a space that you can give them an option to make you an option. Did you pick it up? Because I keep putting it down. Mm -hmm. Especially in relationships, married or unmarried. Mm. If you let a person have the option to make you an option, I don't think you can be happy. I don't know if you can. Because you're constantly looking for a fulfillment that's not going to be there. Mm hmm. Because you're an option. Now keep in mind, I, 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 ain't, I ain't stepping on nobody's toe. I'm not. I'm not. Because there are some situations and sometimes, even though I can't say that I feel like it's right or I agree with it, because y'all know how I feel about married people. Married people are off limits to other people. Okay? I mean, they're just how I feel. Okay? They ain't got nothing to do with if your situation is different and da 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 and da 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 da. It's not going to change my opinion. I'm not trying to change yours. Okay? Let's get that understood. I'm not trying to change your, your, your situation. I'm not trying to tell you or talk about your situation. I'm just saying, in my opinion, as a married person, married people are off limits to other people. You know what I'm saying? If you are allowing a married person, man or woman, make you be an option and they're married, how you ever going to be having? How you ever going to be having? If you're dating a married person, you are giving them the option for you to be an option. Mm. That's just my opinion. I'm not trying to force my opinion down on you. So I need you coming to come in. Trying to force your opinion off on me. Because my opinion ain't going to change. I can show you right now. It's not. It's not. I think the sanctity of marriage. If a person is married and they really wanted you. They would make themselves available by not being married anymore. That's just my opinion. Okay. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to give you the option to make me an option. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love myself enough to where I am the option. Period. I'm the option. But you ain't going to have no option to make me an option. <laughs> I'm the option. I am the option. That's it. That's all. That's it. It's going to be that way with my friends. It's going to be that way with my family. So I cannot give you the right or take the right from me to take up my own space. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh-uh. I'm not playing second fiddle. Nope. No matter what relationship I'm in in my life, you have a choice to treat me 
the way that I deserve to be treated. You do. And that goes, that, that's just like I said, that, that, that applies to friends too. You don't have an option um, or get to pick and choose my happiness mm -mm. by making me an option. Mm -mm. I was like, y'all, all jokes aside, I had a friend one time before in my life that it was more like a group of friends. This one when I was younger. In college. Mm -hmm. This actually happened to me twice in my life. Where it was a group of friends, there was three of us. And I always felt like I was the least desired friend. You know what I'm saying? Like we were friends. I could be with this one, and we were the best of friends. I could be with this one, and we were the best of friends. But when we were all three together, it felt like they were best friends and I was the friend. I don't know if you're catching it, but I have been in a situation like this twice in my life where it felt like that I was an option. You know what I'm saying? Like if I can't get, let's just call this Ben and, and Ben and Tim. I was best friends with Ben I was best friends with Tim. And to the world, me, Lips, Tim, and Ben were the best of friends. But I always felt like Ben and Tim were best friends, and I was the option. I've been through that twice in my life. I have. I have once since I've been grown. But I had to come to the realization and realize I can give you the power. You know what I'm saying? I can give you the option to make me an option. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm not saying that I'm so important because I got to be first in your life. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. However, you don't have the option to make me an option. Mm -mm. How can you ever be happy that way when you always feel like an option? That's why I said, oh, I brought up the situation about dating married people. Mm -mm. I feel like that I am good enough because God gave me the divine right to take a space that you can have an option to make me an option. I'm either the option that you have taken or you can take your option somewhere else. That's it. That's all. I can't let you walk in and out of my life the way that you want to. I can't do that. I can't let you walk in this door and hurt me this way. And then I tell you that you hurt me. And then you do what it is that you feel like that pacified me for the moment to make me okay, to get back in my good graces. And then I'm still an option again. Uh oh. I ain't going to be no option for long. Because you feel like that you have the option to make me an option. It's going to make me not an option. Hey, I'm unavailable. I cannot. Uh, I'm unavailable, honey. Uh -uh. No. Mm hmm. No, you don't have the option to make me an option. Nope. And like I said, I'm not saying that you got to make me the option. What I'm saying is that if I'm not the option that you choose, I'm not an option. <laughs> hey, go, go and speak that thing. For real. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. -mm. Uh -uh. No, sir. And no, ma'am. No, uh -uh. Nope. And then he leaves at the best when it comes to married folk. Close your legs to marry me. That's it. That's all. Mm -mm. Why would you want to be the option? Or give somebody the option for you to be the option? To deal with you when they want to. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something. I know that there are many one circumstances I hear in the world that would make you feel like giving someone else the option to make you the option. I didn't say that option word a lot of time, but that's the point of this conversation. But at the end of the day, like I said, I'm either going to have to be the option that you choose, or I'm not an option. Uh -uh. I'm not going to consciously give people the right to walk in and out of my life and treat me 
the way that they want to. Because when you are an option, that's what happens. When you're an option, you don't have grounds to stand on and say, treat me right, treat me right. Because you, you have accepted being an option. Uh-uh. 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 No, I'm the option. Or oh, I'm not an option. But you don't have the option to make me an option. <laughs> Go, sis, you said that. You said that. Mm-hmm. It's the same with God. Mm-mm. God don't want to be an option in your life. Mm-mm. He don't want to be an option in your life. He gives you free will and a choice to choose, but he's not going to be an option. You don't get to say, well, I'm going to choose this here today and this here tomorrow. And my heart going to be over here today. But my heart is over here tomorrow. You can't, you got it, accept it. He got to be the option. And you're working on to improve the relationship with the option that you made. But you got to make that option. You got to make that choice that this is what you want. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. You cannot give people the power over you. The power. Because that's what you give them. You cannot give people the power over you to run in out of your life and have the option to make you an option. Y'all hear the option word? I like that word. I do. I cannot be playing with this right now because this is serious. Even though it is kind of funny. Because I didn't say the option about... I, 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 no, I can't say it right. I made option. Be the option of this option. Of the option that we're talking about. That don't make no sense. But I just said option at this point. Now I'm just saying time. <laughs> Seriously though. I'll just say y'all. Don't allow people to walk in and out of your life. And make you an option. Mm -mm. You've got to make people commit. To treating you right. You've got to make people commit. To understanding and allow you. To take up the divine space. That God gave you. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Everybody. Like I said, if you're a child and you're in your parents' house, there's still a certain amount of respect that everybody should, is due. Okay? Now, when you're a child and you're in your parents' house, you may not get that. You may not. But what you do is you store the way that you feel in your head. And you get old enough, and you use those things to make sure that when you do get yourself out on your own, that you don't allow other people to treat you that way. You don't allow other people to treat you that way. I'm going to give you an example. Different kind of example, but still an example. I have one, two, three, four. I have four fully grown nieces and nephews. Grown, fully grown. Okay? And they're grown enough to where they'll slip and call me by my first name. Uh-uh. That's not an option. <laughs> That's not the option. Because I'm still the same amount of years, the same amount of months, the same amount of days, hours, and minutes that I were, and seconds that I was the day that you came into this world. You don't have the option to call me by my first name because there's an uncle that's supposed to be in front of it. And believe it or not, I promise you, I'm not lying to you. It can get to the point with me that I demand this so much, or at least I feel like I can, because I can't make them do anything because they're grown. But if you call me by my first name and that uncle ain't in front of it, it ain't there, that's not an option for me. So I'm not going to answer to that. Because I'm not going to give you the option for you to have an option to give me the respect that I'm due. I can't do that. I can't accept that. I can't accept that. No, sir. Mm -mm, I can't accept that. I have some nieces and nephews that are almost grown. They like to say, yeah, no, down, no, yes. And they feel like that is a viable answer. 
<clears throat> kids today feel like that yes and no is a viable answer to say to a grown person. And look, keep in mind that you may not agree. This may not be how you feel. I'm giving you my opinion on how I feel. I think, you know, if my friends, children, and da 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 I can't control that. There's nothing I can control. What I'm saying is that if you are my blood, if you are my niece and my nephew, that I know I have stood before you and been an uncle and deserve respect, you can't say yeah and no to me or yes and no. Uh-uh. I need that, that sir behind that. Okay. Because I'm not going to give you that option. For you to think that it's an option to respect me. I ain't, ain't going to give you that. I'm going to correct you every time. Every time. Now, if you don't want to be corrected, if you don't want to be corrected, then get what? You giving me the option that when your birthday come around, <laughs> who got the option now? You see what I'm saying? You can't change nobody. You can't make nobody do nothing they don't want to do. You can't. But I'm not going to let you have the option to make me an option. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So, Legion, sit down in your situations that you're in right now. If, you, if, you, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, sit down in your situations right now and think about, are you giving a person an option to make you an option? Because it can fit into a lot of situations. It can It can fit into a lot of situations and deal with a lot of situations. It can. But consciously, like I said, God gave us all a divine right to take up space on this earth. He did. And that's something you don't have an option about. No, I'm not going to give you the option. To want to suppress me and not allow me to take the space that God gave me the divine right to do? Mm -mm. I can't do that. I can't give you that. I can't give you that. I can't. I, you can't have that. You can't have the option to make me an option. Can't do that. And I said option a lot of times, but I think that you get what I'm trying to say. All in all, to wrap it up in a different way and don't have to keep saying option is an option, 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 all of it. The key to it all, the way I'm trying to say y'all is you have a right to be respected, to be loved, to be cherished, to be talked to, to be dealt with or in your dealings with people. You have the right To have all those things. To be loved right. To be cherished right. To be respected the right way. The God-given right to take up space for who you are. Just like you are. Just like you are. Don't ever feel like in life. Don't ever feel like in life. That you're so in love. Or you like so, so a person so well. Or with such close friends. Or. Our relationship is just so, if you are not being chosen as the option, don't be an option. Okay. Anyway, y'all, I'm finna go, I'm finna go, I'm finna go. I don't know if I got that out right, y'all. In my head, when I sit down, I knew where I was going to go with it. I don't know if I got that right. I don't know. I can't tell you. But what I can tell you is, I hope that you got the point and realize then no one has an option to make you an option. Only you can give them the option to make you an option. Okay, now I'm finna go. I love you guys so, so much, I truly do. I love each and every one of you guys, and I hope y'all enjoyed this meal. That meatloaf was buzzing. Them chitlins was buzzing. That mac and cheese was buzzing. The potato salad was buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Everything was buzzing. Baby, it was good. Even the Diet Coke was buzzing. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much, I truly, truly do, and I'm finna get up out of here, okay? So I'm a new legion. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you have to be here. 
You could have told me the rest of the world. But you told me why you were so we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, just in the DJ. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. We love you guys so much. And we're going to see you guys next time, okay? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Because I'm going to be your option, right? <laughs> And if you're not gonna watch me next time, you can lie to, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye, bye. Woo. Y'all, y'all know how I get. You know, I'll be trying to make my words fit together to make sure that everybody can understand and everybody get it. Like I said, please understand that I ain't judging your situation. I ain't trying to change your situation. I'm not trying to change your mind about your situation or none of that. All I'm saying is that you are worth being the option. You're worth being the option instead of being an option of an option. You can't have that with me. You can't have that with me. I can't give you that power over me. I don't even think I said it right right then. But I think that you get the point of what I'm saying. I love y'all. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye.